here we are on Shaponda from the cockpit we've got depth and log main sheet winch um, head sail furler winch compass the companionway cockpit light shore power um, outdoor speakers the throttle control uh, this is the tiller it folds down like so uh, autopilot gets set up over here that's the uh, power links in there clips on here just a couple of spare solar lights talking of solar lights a couple of solar lights on the stern just as uh, auto anchor lights uh, GPS um, a receiver there on the back rail and a spot for the life ring which is inside main sheet this um, hatch at the back this lazarette uh, is where I keep the stern anchor and um, dive gear uh, boarding ladder down on this side that folds down nice two-speed self-tailing sheet winches um, out here on deck we've got uh, spinnaker blocks they're just uh, wrapped in foil to protect them from the sun but you've got spinnaker blocks in there um, this is the, the hatch through to the float um, we'll have a little inside tour in a minute uh, over here we've got the dagger board which goes down through the float they're quite easy to operate again I'll have to um, have a look at that in a minute I'll just do a short video first um, another sheeting position for the head sail for deep downwind out there and uh, the other spinnaker um, downhaul on the bow nice big nets on this boat they're like two king size beds really they're massive um, up here on deck we've got another two sheeting position so this this one here is about 11 degrees for really close on the wind the one on the outer down here is about uh, 15 degrees uh, ventilation a little hatch on the deck for ventilation uh, what else can we see uh, looking back at the cockpit you've got a well protected cockpit um, but yet you've still got a slot for, to feel the wind on your face but keep the sun off your head works very very well um, manual anchor winch there which is handy uh, most of the time I can pick up the anchor by myself but handy to have an anchor winch when it's really deep uh, nice big bow fitting um, I replaced that a couple of years ago because the previous one was inadequate and that's a nice solid one the rope can't jump off it off the roller or anything like that um, nice and solid and it can take a um, uh, an extra force day to it too um, what else do we see around this side the other large net 400 watts of solar panels there that keeps the, the fridge running 24-7 uh, replace some of the windows there seal them up and new perspex looking up at the rig um, she's about a what is it like 14 meter mast but uh, it's um, it's rigged actually fairly conservatively um, she's got a vang she's very easy to handle I can pull that whole main up basically by hand and just tighten it with the winch the winch there on the mast um, then you've got the hatch to the other float now the dagger board I'll just uh, show you how that goes just release the rope out from there and can just push her on down and she'll stay where she sits because she slides in carpet and the friction's just perfect uh, very easy to put up and down just pull on the rope again and up she comes so there you go we just tie it off um, when we're sailing hard so that it doesn't drop through all right around the other side on the deck these chocks on the deck are to take the dinghy that um, came with the boat they're painted red so you don't stub your toe on them <laughs> and back around the other side there's the boarding ladder got loads of underwing clearance there 
it's about a metre or more off the water. And here's my lovely Ruth. She doesn't come with the boat, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to keep her. All right, well, 